You all hear me? Yes. You know, okay, good, good. Uh, I thank God for this day. I think uh, for this uh, for this pastor and, and first lady. I thank God for my mother. Yes, yeah. uh, I was at a church and I listened to a uh, a bishop tell there was a there was a lady who asked the bishop. She said, uh, "Should we be godly jealous of a person who can?" sing and pray and you know people come to them for it for for wisdom and can open and open and close the, the the service and do everything in between should we be godly jealous of that person mm -hmm. and the bishop said to her something i'm going to say to you which is you don't know anything about what they had to go through to get to that place this and is true that this is true, true. You don't know anything about what they had to go through to get to that place. Mm -hmm. Pastor Edwards, first lady, you all don't know anything they had to go through to get to where they are. And I yes, thank God I for that kind of sacrifice. I yes. thank God for that kind of sacrifice. That's why we have the first lady that we have, because she went through. She's gone through. And yes. I, I, thank God, I thank God for her. Uh, uh, okay, so all right, so Marjorie's prose. Uh, I've heard people tell me that uh, uh, that's a, well, Edward uh, Elder. That's a that's a nice poem, but it's not mine. It's not mine. I was just the guy lucky enough to write it down. Mm -hmm. What I wrote down, what I heard. So it's not my poem. It's her poem. And what and and one thing I love about it is that everything that I heard that I wrote is so descriptive you can see it. everything you can see it and it's uh it it defines her beautifully i think so i, I praise god for her i praise god for this poem uh this is marjorie's prose you all pray for me bless him jesus marjorie okay. ten thousand sunsets where angels dance up high painting the promise of a tomorrow sunrise on the canvas of the sky. Streaks of gold, purple, and blue as night prepares, but yet few blankets of stars have ever covered the sky without passing the prayer of this servant. Marjorie as a melody during dawn's first light that grows, a kaleidoscope that passes by to those who listen prose. She's the smile on the face of some school-bound child. The loved one's happy tears, with voice as soft as the whisper it rain. Marjorie is a song clouds here. Mm. Now, sometimes she is a fire's course, landscaping in her vice. Harmoniously balanced with the nature of God, blackened earth, she blooms to life. Her selfless flame, most blessed of God, beacons, beacons the weary of tortured seas. She's a bridge on which the multitudes pass from sin to eternity. Now, Marjorie is not crimson, nor the color as unseen, white. Violet does not affect her, nor the connotations of green. Purple speaks of regency, though she seeks no such delight, yet she compliments the hues of all with a brilliance and an anointed light. Lightning. lightning, that luminous and elemental symbol of God, so must she in further description be. Cracking night skies on a white band language, drawing eyes and minds to divinity. See, it starts in the clouds. An electric charge does attract the earth. As such, there can be no gulf twixt earth and heaven when God has servants who love so much. So much. So much prayer, finances, and time. But her joy comes at your success. Gentle Marjorie quoting patterns of love and warmth and oasis from unrest. Continue to laugh, to laud, to lead, to live, and labor towards spiritual intent, 
She is but a small package of explosive power. Singing mm. Jesus, I'll never forget. Marjorie of Virtue, once heeding the master's call, her husband also praises her. Many daughters have done well, but you excel them all. Her children rise in unison, equipped with the lessons she gives and call her blessed. 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 Blessed and faithful. The unequivocally and magnificently uncommon rarity that she is. Though the den of world machinery, the factories billowing, belching smoke, though cacophonous battle with earth inhabitants, to heaven she directs our hopes. Though concrete towers of relentless billions threaten the very shores, she remains the endless solitary word that days and nights adore. Now, Marjorie is heaven's essence of what is beautiful in nature that life and I adore. Praise God. Woo hey, all right. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone, and happy love day, Grandma. Oh my goodness, I love you so much. I know I've already taken up my 15 seconds there. So I'm just going to hit right into it. Three key points in my love notes to you. First is about your tenacious greetings and your joyful spirit. I don't know if anybody else has ever had this experience and I'm quite sure you have, but I'll just use a recent example of what I'm talking about, this tenacious greeting and joyful spirit. Anytime that I could be picking up the phone and calling grandma and my feelings, my spirit might be a little bit down on the first few rings, but I can't see how anyone could stay there once you are welcomed by a warm voice, yet with the dash of spunk to, how in the world are you doing? I mean, after you hear such a greeting like that, immediately my spirit is up and I can no longer stay where I was during the first few <laughs> rings, but now I have to step up my game to meet that standard of, you know what? It's just so much better and easier to be happy anyways, so be happy. So that's just one of my examples there and a childhood memory that I often think about a lot because um, grandma, you know me, I'm always ripping and running and trying to do this, that and the third and Gary makes fun of me about trying to be superwoman all the time and save the world. But there was a moment where I, I think you and I were either peeling apples or potatoes. I feel like it was apples because you were probably making your apple pie that day. And you had gave me an apple peeler. Now I've never really used it. I've used smaller peeling knives. And so as you were going, so that was potatoes. As you were peeling the potatoes really fast, I tried to meet up with that standard and go really fast. Well, it wasn't but a few seconds later to where I was not only nervous because I realized and me trying to keep up in the same pace I was peeling off too much potato and uh, we weren't gonna have any left. And it was worrying you because you were concerned about my safety. And so in that moment, my first childhood life, life lesson, you had stopped me and said so sweetly, sometimes it's just best to go slow. After you have peeled as many potatoes as I have in my lifetime, you will learn that you'll learn to pick up the pace over time. But for now, it's just best to go slow. And I don't know if you know, Grandma, how many times I think about that one memory of peeling potatoes. And sometimes when I'm trying to go fast and keep up with the Joneses and this one in corporate America, your voice, the Holy Spirit will remind me of that time to just go slow. And that quickly transitions over into your deposits of wisdom, you and grandpa both. I know some have heard of Dave Ramsey and his Financial Peace University books and how to become debt free. But let me tell you, before I heard of David Ramsey, 
I've heard from the tape from sitting at the, the the chairs in the living rooms of what it means to manage your money, what it means when grandpa and grandma would say to outline all of your debt with the highest at the top starting at the bottom and you start working off the lowest bill and once you pay that off you take that amount you just don't go on a shopping spree but you take that amount and you apply it to the next bill and before you know it consistency happens and you wake up and see my god you helped me to become debt free and so again her consistent deposits of wisdom if people are just only willing to not only listen but apply and continuously to to work those things until you see it come to fruition and my last point her love to serve if grandma doesn't drip jesus if grandma doesn't strip the love of god i i i, I don't know how else to better put it but her love to serve is out of this world because first she has a relationship with her father and because he, she is his daughter she is naturally, whether she knows you or she doesn't, she's naturally going to pour out everything she has. And even if she doesn't have any cash on you, which is very rare, because grandma always, again, tip ladies, always have a stash. She is always going to pour out something, a word of wisdom, an encouraging word. And so grandma, I know my time is up, but I just want to say, probably say, your heart. I love you and I honor you today. And just know that, yes, you have many that are listening to you and watching you and are learning from you and your labor is not in vain. God bless you. Bless your heart. God bless you. Bless your heart. Bless your heart. Man. Bless your heart. Brit. Amen. Um, I definitely um, can't come much uh, come, can't come much harder after that for my cousin Jasmine. But what I can do is share a scripture um, and share a few memories about uh, my time with Grandma. Um, and the scripture is, um, "Because God is with her, she will not be moved." Um, and for me, she's not, Grandma is strong, and she will she's never moved. She don't move a tad, an ounce, a smidgen at all. She is, she stays true to who she is. I used to call my grandmother when I was young, when I was six and seven and eight years old, I called her every day. Um, at that time, grandmother lived in San Jose and I would get out of school. That's the one number I knew was my grandma's number. <laughs> and I called her every single day, yes. five, six, seven, every day for, I want to say for about a year, I called her every day. And every day, grandma talked to me every single day. She would pick up the phone and talk to me and ask me how I'm doing and ask me how my day was. And at my age, gave me wisdom at five, six, seven, eight. As a mother, I am still learning how to give wisdom to my older children. My mother is learning how to still give wisdom to her adult children. But my grandmother has been able to give me wisdom from five all the way to where I am now and to many women like you all. Yes. And I just, I thank her. I honor her for that. I love her. Grandma, I remember living, uh, being in your blue room and telling you I would never leave your blue room. <laughs> I was going to live with you forever. I'm going to stay with you forever. <laughs> I remember my grandmother at six years old put me on the train and took me to an amusement park. Uh, <laughs> my grandmother, she told me um, when times got hard, I, I had to go get some shots in my arm to go back to school. I was like in third grade and I was so worried. And grandma looked at me and she said, just say Macy's. And I went to get my shot. And when I went and got my shot, I said, Macy's. <laughs> I said, Macy's. The shot went in my arm and guess what? Grandma took me to Macy uh, <laughs> to buy me a few things. But I, I, what I want to say is I, grandma was not, she has not just been a spiritual guidance for me. She has not just been someone I can call and get a good word, get a good prayer. You know, um, that, that is more than, she's more than that. My grandmother has been, the, some of like the foundation of my life. She has been, call, you know, calling grandma when all hope is gone. And I don't even, she doesn't have to have a word for me. It's just like Jasmine says, how in the world are you? Baby, I ain't heard your voice in 
Hi, Grandma! You know, and I'm just proud. Hi, Grandma! Um, but it's it's because of who she is. It's just like my uncle Tim says. She is she is my smile. She is literally my smile. She's I beam as soon as I hear her voice on the phone. I cry as soon as she walks out the door. She is absolutely everything. Grandma, I love you. That's your heart for you. I I bug her all the time. I call her still to this day. I tell her everything in my life, good and bad, because grandma is strong and with God, she will not be moved. She cannot be moved. Bless your heart. I love you. you. I thank God for you. And I turn back into the hands of the coordinator of the service. You are my heart. Bless your heart. Bless your heart. Bless your heart. Bless your heart. Evangelist Scriven. Woo! How can I get through this? <laughs> that was some good words. Tight. I'm, trying get, I'm trying to get on to the next person. Um, evangelist. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Oh, okay. I was I was saying stuff, but I was on mute. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello. Oh. God bless you, Angela. <laughs> oh, God. God bless you. God bless you, everybody. It's so good to see everybody after all of these years, the Richardsons, the, but, but it's about mother. So let me get to mother. <laughs> Thank you for being a friend. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you bitch. <laughs> yeah, all right, I had, I had to put that one in there. Thank you for being a friend. <laughs> all right. I thank, I thank God for, for, Putting you in my life, I thank God for pastor and first lady. And I'm telling you, you I, I didn't, nobody really realizes how much uh, one person can make an effect on your life. And then of course with two, with the two of you, I see you all as, as both one person, but I didn't even know I was gonna say that. But anyway, <laughs> I just, um, I just remember you saying, "Your my youth is renewed like the eagles," and I'm thinking, "Is that in the Bible?" And and I finally found it. It's in the Bible. And my, my youth is re so I say that to myself now. My youth is renewed like the eagles. So even though you all are moving on into the, I know. shall we say the next decade. <laughs> I'm not too far behind you. Uh, <laughs> I'm catch up with you from the uh, trying to get into the uh, uh, 75s. Uh, I'm it's almost there. <laughs> but God, God is so good, and I do keep keep that that scripture that God will renew our youth like the eagles, so we yes. don't have to walk around, set, you know, with our face hung in the, hung down and you know, sad about this and sad about that. And people are afraid to get old. There's nothing wrong with getting older. Amen. I just thank God that uh, my, my youth is renewed like the eagles and the joy of the Lord is my strength. And even though I smile a lot and I, and people think that I, you know, that's all I do is smile all the time. I go through, <laughs> I go through coming and going, but I choose my battles and I just, just talk to the Lord and decide what battle I need to fight and what battle I need to leave alone yes. and let him do it. And um, I, I thank you for this space and thank you for sharing your life with me. Thank you for every meal that you, oh my God, all that good food, all that good food that you, <laughs> that you would um, bring me to your house, sit me down and we would eat. And I just, I just think and watched uh, uh, Bishop Bishop Patterson mm -hmm. and di different ones in your in your uh, family room, you know those those are memories that I'm not going to be able to get away from. Thank you, thank you for being who you are. Thank you for just opening up your heart and and you know just God is you know God is just good. Yes, it's just he is. good. And just keep on keeping on and you need to hear all of this encouragement. So I'm gonna gonna pass on to the next person. God bless you. Love you. Love you, Angeline. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you, God bless you darling. Love you. And now do we uh Sister Benson would love to hear from you. <laughs> so 
bring you greetings from Victory and Praise Church of God in Christ, Pastor Rodney Howard, you all know him. And I'm just be your mother and to say, God bless you. You, you know, I had to look up the definition of a mother. And the one thing that I stood out to me is says, bring up a child with care and affection. And it's not only the child that mother deals with, it's us old people too. And I mother for your great advice. She's wise in all her ways to me. And to me, that's saying a lot because, you know, you look at some of uh, the older women. I had a young lady tell me, there's no older women that we can look up to, but there's one older woman I can look up to and that's mother Marjorie Edwards. And mother, I, for the, I know one time I was real upset with somebody and mother looked at me, she said, oh, it's, not worth it. it's not worth it. And I said, mother, just give me five minutes and let me be angry. And she said, I'm gonna give you five minutes. And she gave me them five minutes and she said, do you feel better? And I said, yes, mother, which it's not really worth being angry with a person because it takes more out of you. And the first thing we go on about their business, not even paying any attention to it. And I thank mother for all the spiritual advice that she's given me and just being there. And like they said, you call and she's, her voice is all bright and shiny. And if you're feeling down, if you can't get up when she answers something wrong with you. <laughs> thank you, mother, for all the times that you've helped me through. I really truly thank, thank you. God bless you. Amen. We love you. We love you. Amen. Bless your heart. Bless your heart. God bless Amen. you. Amen. Amen. I praise the Lord today for my pastor. Thank God for my first lady, God Mother Edwards. You. It's thank your you, day today. It's your love day. And I just want to say that love day is every day with you. There's not a day go by that you don't show love to somebody. And today we reward you and we, we just praise God for you. Today, I honor you for the woman of God that you are. I thank God for a few years ago, I didn't know you, but you found me. We were at a Kojic meeting and you found me and you greeted me and you hadn't turned me a loose since. And I thank God for you befriending me, for being a friend, for being a mother, for being who you are, showing me that holiness is right and that you are a real person. And I thank God for that today. You are highly respected and honored for your fervency in prayer and seeking God. You help the women to seek God, to go higher, to go further. And I thank God, you know, if you are having a bad day, if you just talk to Mother Edwards, you feel better. I guarantee you that. Praise God. And I do thank God you motivate the women around you to go further, to, to be women of excellence. And I appreciate that. As a leader, you lead by example. You don't tell us to go somewhere that you won't go or to do something that you won't do yourself. So I thank God for that leadership that I found in you. Your children rise up and call you blessed. Your husband praises you. And we, we among women, we just know that you are the blessed one. You are the chosen one. You are the gifted one. You are the one that God chose to be our leader with our pastor. And we appreciate God for that so much. We can't thank God enough for you, Mother Edwards. That's your heart. You are a friend indeed. Mother Edwards, I thank you for being the humble servant of God that you are. Thank you for allowing God to use you. Everybody don't allow God to use them and then stay humble, but you are one who does. And I thank the Lord for that. And today you are a woman of wisdom, a woman of worth. You are the phenomenal woman. You are prestigious. You are the elite, and I thank God for you. And today, may God's riches be upon you, and may he continue to bless you over and over abundantly more and more. I love you, Mother Edwards, and thank you for being bless my you. mother and my friend. Bless From my you. heart to yours. Bless your heart. God bless you. I love you. I love you. Bless your heart. So precious. God bless you, Mother Edwards. Yes, God Mother Mace. Pastor, the God with the head of my life, to our esteemed pastor, and to all the elders and all the guests online today. Mother, I could just add to our special honoree. I love you, Mother Edwards, Lady Elect, District Missionary, our mother. I could say that you are our mother, and there is no one 
other than you, <laughs> our mother. God bless you. And I just did out everything everyone has already said. Jasmine and Brittany, you're right. All you have to do is hear mother's voice. And no matter what kind of spirit you were in, you're going to come out in a better spirit. You could already be up. She's just going to lift you higher after you talk to her. And I'm, I'm of mine. I'm here to represent the auxiliaries. But mother, just on a personal level first, I still cannot get over that day that I looked at my phone and you had called me six times. There were six times that you had called me. And I said, what's going on? Let me call mother. And you said to me, I could not rest. The Lord had you on my heart and I was not going to rest until I spoke with you. And I thank God for that. How many first ladies take the time to call a member six, six times. times until they get them? Mm. Not many. And I thank God for you that we as your children are always on yours and pastor's heart. We're always on your heart. There isn't a day I know for a fact that, that goes by that you don't think of each and every one of us. Yes. Not yes. a day. Not a day. And I thank God for you. I thank God for you being my mother. And as Evangelist Chi says, when I came into Living Water Ministry in January 2010, you embraced me and you haven't let me go. And that's nobody but the God in you. Put the children in you, give them to you, and you never let them go. Woo, and now, I want to read you, what I wrote regarding what I feel the auxiliaries that are there at Living Water Ministry. We love you. We love you, and we appreciate all the support that you give to each of the auxiliaries. You encourage us to do our best. You teach us the way of the Lord and show us through example how to be supportive one to another. We grow in our ministries because of you, our mother, who listens and shares what God has given you. Proverbs 31, 26 says, she openeth her mouth with wisdom and in her tongue is the law of kindness. Your unselfish love and sacrifices make us want to do more, to want more of God and to do more for the kingdom. We love you, Mother. Bless and as Mother Hawthorne said, if we can give you the moon, we this would. God bless you. God yes. bless you, Mother Mays. Yeah. Bless your heart, bless your heart. Ooh, praise Jesus. It's Missionary Thomas, is she here on the line today? Yes, ma'am. God okay. bless you. God bless you. God bless you, Eloise. Bless you. Amen. Your heart. Good afternoon, saints. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Bless your Amen. heart. Amen. I thank God for uh, this day and thank him for saving me and keeping me. It is so good to see my church family and, and just all of you. Um, so many things have been said on today. Um, I do want to honor Pastor. Bless you. Um, so many things have been said on today that I would have said, but I just want to say to Mother, I love you so much, oh, so much. So um, I am so, so proud to be a member of Living Waters. Bless you. And we have a first lady like no other. Mother, I thank you so much. I'm so comfortable to know that I can call you anytime I need to. And it's comfortable knowing that um, I can do that and that we have a first lady um, who has that kind of heart. I thank you so much, Mother. I, I recall you calling me so many times and the first thing I hear is, hi, baby. How are you doing? <laughs> and I just appreciate you, Mother, your prayers, how you pray for us and how you encourage us to go farther and to do better, and how you push us, uh, even when we get a little slack. When I do, when I get a little slack, you have mm -hmm. called and said, all right, you got to be about your father's business. And I thank yes. you for that, Mother. 
Bless I your thank heart. you so much. Thank you for your support in the choir and how you sing God's praises with us and um, just come to rehearsal and um, love on us and push us. We appreciate you so much. I love you so much. And I uh, pray God's blessings upon you, mother. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you, baby. Bless Thank you. Heart. Love Amen. you. Love you. It's good to hear all those love notes. And I'm sitting here in tears and just so proud to have mother. And Amen. Amen. I'm just so proud to have her. Bless your heart. My church and my family. Her and Pastor have done so many things. So many prayers have gone up for me and my family. Hallelujah. But the first thing I thought about is that when I used to go after listening to all the love notes, during the summer when we were little, we would go to my grandmother's house, my grandmother's house, and she was a maid for the school, and my grandfather was the janitor of the school. And some of the kids would come around and say, Big mama, big mama. And I used to say, that's not your big mama. That's my big mama. <laughs> I feel like this is my first lady. This is nobody else's but my first lady. <laughs> so that's the first thing that came to mind when I was just, we just love to hear all those love notes. And now we got to come to a, a part of the service. I'm going to turn it over to the Ministry of Giving. My husband, my husband, Deacon B.T. Richardson. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. God bless you, Deacon. God bless, God bless you. you. Thank, thank you, uh, Melissa. Um, I thank God, and I would not let this day go by without me giving my little love note. I thank God that seven years ago, my husband and I came here, and Mother just, as she has done for everybody else, put her arms around me and they are still around me. Amen. I love mother. I, I love her and pastor. Whenever, sure. they, whenever I know she's got some place to go, I'm going to cook something for her. So when she come back home, she don't have to do it. Sure. Make sure that they have something to eat and something to drink. Sure. <laughs> but that's just sure. what I do. Because as everybody has said, when you call mother, even if your day has been really bad. When she pick up that phone, hello, baby. <laughs> hello, baby. That just brightens up your day. That just, it, for me, it makes me feel real good. I, I love, and like uh, I, I say, this is our mom. This is our mom. We love Mother Edwards. We love Pastor. But Mother is just like our mom. We all have taken her in. She's taken us in. And we just thank God for her and Pastor. And she her, her day. So we truly thank God because she is a jewel. She is, she is a jewel. And there's none like her. There's none like her. And as Mother Hawthorn said, she has a star. Yes, you do. I don't know if anybody else has a star, but she has a star. Yes, <laughs> and we thank God mercy. for that. I'm here. Praise to Jesus. Greet each and every the greetings to different um, our mm. visitors. And we thank and praise God for each and every one of you all that's online. We have our um, visitors, uh, evangelist Veron Thornton. Are you on? She's not on, Mother. She's not on. Okay, well, how about Mother Addie Lewis? Mother Addie Lewis is my older sister, and she is looking after my brother in law, and he okay. didn't have a good day today. Okay, so. Mama. Uh, we, we have to excuse her because she she's doing a good wifely duty okay. looking after her husband. Okay. What about uh, Dr. Patricia Brown? I doubt if she's on too because she's moving and going through a lot of transitions. Okay. So I, I kind of doubt if she's on also. Okay. District missionary Takora 
Bishop. Is, are you on? Mother Mother Bishop? Bishop. I don't see her. Don't I'm see surprised. Her. Okay. Now, there, there's a lot going on, uh, funerals and things. So, okay, a lot of things happened this weekend. So that okay. I've heard from the, I've heard from all of them. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, none other than Dr. Catherine Promise. Amen. Amen. Her. Amen. None <laughs> other. Amen. Praise Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Amen. And you can rest assured that I am here. Yes, this is <laughs> Amen. true. This is true. Amen. We do give honor to God on today. We thank God for our administrative system, um, Edwards. Amen. God bless you. Administrative system. We love him so much. Amen. And to the Living Water family, we thank God for Mother Thomas. Amen. amen. Being on and amen. Bishop. Amen. I thank God for my husband. I think y'all can see him right here. Amen. 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 <laughs> and to our honoree today, oh my God, I listened to you all and let me just say ditto and say she was the best friend that anybody could have. That's your heart. Best sister that anybody could have. Man. The Man. best mama that anybody could have. Man. And I said, <laughs> Love meeting of Miss because y'all already know how I feel about Mother Edwards. Amen. Amen. Nothing new, nothing changed. Amen. And I thank God for the many times that we have traveled together. And I, I thought about one time I got caught up uh, doing dinner for the district missionary unit, and we was there all night long, cooking <laughs> and cleaning up and feeding people. And she stuck with me until the end. Because y'all know, I'm always getting myself involved in something. Over Mother Thomas say, you ain't got yourself in something else. <laughs> and so I just thank God for her and Ella Edwards. We love both of them. We love their children. Amen. We love the church family. Y'all are just some wonderful people. Amen. And I want y'all to know I send my offering. Amen. I send in $300. And All I the time. I want to send in some more. Amen. <laughs> So y'all will know that, that she needs to check her phone to make sure she got it. <laughs> I love her so much and I praise God for her. And I know we could do this for her every month of yes. the year because she yes. deserves it. Yes. So listen to the beautiful things you all are saying. God bless you. We love you, Mother Edwards. We love you. We love Thank you, you, darling. And we'll continue to love you. May God bless you. Bless your heart. Thank you, Dr. Thank you, Dr. Thank you, Dr. Primus, right. for those encouraging words. We now we will ask that Lady Inez Thomas. Amen. I know she's on. I Amen. Praise God, everybody. This is our, this is our bishop's wife. You God all. Bless God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Yes. Amen. Amen. And my cousin. I do thank God for you. The honor, our honoree today, I tell you, one that's so deserving. Yes. Oh, I tell you, I am so happy to be here today. And I thank God for each of you. A love day. Amen. A love day. It, that is so nice and so fitting mm -hmm. for Mother Edwards. Yes. A love day. She is a love person, a person of love. Yes. And she, I feel that she exemplifies uh, a, a love. She does. She yes. loves to give. She loves to open her doors. She is a person of love. She's, yes. She'll give you whatever. It, if she doesn't have it, well, you know, I go and buy it. You know, she has done me that way. Amen. But I do thank God for her. I thank God she is so, she's awesome. And you know, um, when, before, she, before she moved, you know, when she's getting ready to move, I said, Oh, my room is gone. My room is gone. <laughs> but I do thank God for her. And she says, Oh, mother, she says, uh, I didn't say anything about it, but she says, Oh, oh, whenever you come, now I, you, I'm going to give you my room. I'm going to give you. I said, Oh, no, not going to put her Edwards out. No. You know, but we do thank God for both of them. They are so nice, both of them. Uh, this is hard to beat. They are hard to beat. They are good examples, a good examples of love, both of them. And I do praise God for each of you. You know, I do want you to know that we love you, my husband and I. 
And, you know, he, uh, I, I thought he may have been on, but I wasn't sure. But anyways, um, uh, I thank God for him. I thank God for each of you. Amen. And Mother Edwards, you just keep on being yourself. Keep on being yourself. You are a one or person uh, who really is an example. Anybody wanted to follow the Lord, I feel like if they follow you, they're going to get there. Bless your they're going to get there. God and I just you. thank God. Just keep on keeping on. You're going to make it. You're going to make it. Thank and you. I'm gonna be thank right you. God thank bless you, Lord. Mother. God bless, bless your you. heart. Love you so much. Bless you. Amen. Bless you. God bless you. Uh, Mother Thomas, God bless you. And uh, our next uh, speaker would be Super Supervisor Perella Hines. Is she on? I haven't spoken with her. She probably is not, but she always supports me. She may oh, okay. not be able to be on. I haven't oh, seen okay. her. Well, we, we thank God for each and every one that has uh, given those love notes because like yes. mother you are love <laughs> and we thank you now we will have an inspirational song by elder charles edwards and evangelist janesta edwards amen amen or words amen. god bless them god bless them amen they're traveling amen. this elder edwards wants to give the selection <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm just a little under the weather. My voice doesn't feel the best. We're That's actually right. on vacation, but we did not want to miss today. Amen. 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 Mother in love. We <laughs> love you so much. So to my dad, we love you as well. But this is mom's day. So <laughs> we're going to just share a few words. Everything that I've heard has been awesome. Yes. And everything that I've heard, I can attest to for over 30 plus years. So that's really saying something about someone when everything that you've heard, you've seen those attributes all down through the years. She is a blessed woman of God. Amen. She is resilient. Yeah. She's brilliant. Uh, one of the characteristics of a successful person is a risk taker. She's yeah. a risk taker. Yeah. I've watched her take on this social media for the last couple of years, and I'm just so <laughs> proud of her. <laughs> I'm just so proud of her. We had the opportunity to be in her women's conference, her first virtual women's conference, and the Lord bless, and just so much. And I, she knows how I feel, but um, I just want to tell her again, I love you so much. Thank, Thank you so for being you. I hear horror stories about in-laws and outlaws. <laughs> That's true. Really smart because he married somebody who already loved and cherished his parents to death, uh, to life, I should say. Um, I love them and they have been so supportive. I don't know who prays for us the most. Every time I talk to my dad, he says, I pray for you all daily. And yes. I know mom is praying for us. Yes. So, um, yes. so really blessed. I do have an attitude and I do want the saints to pray for me. I do desire your prayers. That's um, so we're not there uh, in the Georgia area, so we don't get all the good food that James and Kim and them get. <laughs> and so I can sometimes have an attitude, Dad. I can feel the enemy <laughs> trying to stir up in me <laughs> because we missed out on all of those good dinners. I can't even fake a sickness. She can't even come help me and heal me. But Bless your heart. Is, we love when we do get to come and visit. We do get to enjoy all of those things. and. She is just so worthy of all of the beautiful mm. accolades that have been said today. Um, my brother really touched me. He said something about being jealous of someone's anointing. And I remember they taught me a long time ago, be careful about being jealous about someone's anointing because you don't know what they had to go through That's to true. get that anointing. That's and I tell you, I, I wouldn't dare be jealous of her anointing because she is anointed and appointed to do everything Amen. that she does. And we just love you, Mother, and we pray that you are encouraged for years and years to come. Thank you, sweetheart. God bless Amen. you. God bless you. God bless you. In my spirit, I hear my mother singing the song, To Be Like Jesus. Oh, Lord. To be like Jesus. Oh, how I want to be like him, meek and lowly, humble and holy. Yes. Uh, I can hear you, Mom, singing that song, and I know that that is one of the sentiments of your heart. I love you so much. I just want to first give honor to, to God and to certainly 
uh, Superintendent Edwards, my father, uh, my my teacher, my mentor, and certainly my friend, um, and my mother, the fragrance of the house of living water, and um, all of the people of God, amen. Ella Luther, I see you there, my, yes. my yes. James and Tim and my sister, Crystal, amen. I love you all so much. Tim, your, your poem is, is just mind blowing. Over the I just top. love you so much. Um, but let me say, mom, you, you epitomize joy. Mm -hmm. You epitomize joy. I'm trying to think in my mind when I have not seen the joy of God from you. Every day, any day, any time, every time, the joy just comes out of you. It's, it's, it's so natural, it's so normal, it's so uh, uh, part of your DNA. It's just who you are, you're happy, you're joyous, and you love to give that joy out Amen. and you don't hold it back. You love to give it out. It, it, it's, yes. it's, it's just who you are. It's who you That's are. Your <laughs> and I love that. And I pray so that if there was one of the great things, and there's so many things about you that I want in my life, that is one of the greatest things that I want from you is the joy that you have, that who you are. If I can just be that joyous person at all times, like you are. Praise Jesus. It's my mother, years ago, being the mother of hundreds and hundreds of children, cooking for them in the children's shelter. I remember going to the children's shelter and seeing the children run up to you and say, oh, Mrs. Edwards, oh, Mrs. Edwards, and loving on you. Mm -hmm. um, the love that you showed them, the years, the years, the time that you gave for them. And, and, and I can't even scratch the surface of what you've done for me, but how <laughs> I think about what you've done for so many others, yeah. not only them. When I think about the, the years that you sacrificed for us, your children, when you bought us the new clothes, and you went to, uh, to Goodwill to buy your clothes, mm. but we were the ones in the new clothes looking mm -hmm. like a million dollars. And we didn't even know what you were doing for yourself. Oh, but that's the kind of person that you are. That's the kind of person that you've been. And that's the person that you always will be. I, I, I love you so much. And there, this is just the surface. And I really mean the bare surface of who you are. But so many things have been said and I love you so much. I can't say that enough. And 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 as I've heard, I would give you the moon, I'd give you the star, <laughs> I'd give you everything if it was in my power to be able to get it because you deserve Amen. that and so much more, mom, so much more. I love, so hard. I love you, I love you and I appreciate Amen. so much and it is my honor. And it has been my honor to be your son. It has been my honor. Bless your heart. Your Amen. I have never, Amen. ever, and I can certainly say this from my father as well. Every time it, either one of you have shown up, the, the beam of happiness and joy and smiles that get on my face just to see you and to be able to tell other people that's my father, that's my mother. That's your and heart. To see you come. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, it, 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 it's, it's, I could brag on you forever. I could brag on you <laughs> Amen. forever. And Amen. the doors that have opened, let me shut up, but the doors that have opened <laughs> because of who you all are that have opened for me because they knew you and they know you. And the life yeah. that you have here have opened up the door for me, for my brothers, for my sister. For my wife, it, it, it just keeps on going. It just keeps on going. It just keeps Thank on going. You, love, love you, love you, love you. God bless you. God bless you.
bless you. God bless you both. God bless. My heart, my heart. Bless you. <laughs> we thanks uh, oh, Elder Charles and and Evangelist uh, Janessa for those wonderful, wonderful, wonderful children. Wonderful children. Wonderful I children. know exactly what you mean. If 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 you could tell it all, it would take us a week. Charles, okay. for you to tell it all, <laughs> or more. <laughs> <laughs> now, last but not least, words of expression from Pastor Frederick Roberts and our sister evangelist, Crystal Roberts. Amen, amen. amen. God bless you, God amen. bless you. Amen. amen. All right, can you all hear me? Yes, yes, God, God bless you, Pastor. God bless you, Mother. Well, I love you. Uh, it's your first of honor to God and to, so to Dad. God bless you, Dad. You're looking bless good. You. God bless you. And love. We love you so much. And the culmination of everything that's been said is just so wonderful and so true. So I wrote down something that should take me a minute to, to, to get out. But I, and, and then, you know, Crystal is going to be speaking. So I would ordinarily let her speak first. But uh, Mother Edwards, you're a special, you're a special person. This is your day because you are a special person. You're remarkable and uh, you're practically undescribable. Uh, you know, I don't know how many more adjectives that we could use to try to describe you. <laughs> but when God created you, he broke the mold. Amen. Amen. When God created you, he broke the mold. You are a designer's original. Yes. You're one of a kind. And it's incredible the way you connect people to your life. And, and, and how people are drawn to you. And then in return, you, you connect them with God. Amen. And, and because of our relationship of knowing who you are, our relationship with God just gets greater and greater. And I really appreciate you for that. And I really thank God for you. Um, uh, to God, I, I, you know, and some of the things that I've heard said, I think some of the things that mother has taught us, mother Edwards, you've taught us, I think they're gonna be trending in our culture forever. I heard my daughter Brittany speak and, and some of your grandchildren speak. I think they were gonna carry what you have said to us and, and how you have taught us and what the women of God and even some of the men of God have learned. That's gonna go into the next generation. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna, I believe it's even gonna go into future generations. Mm -hmm. And so I just wanna say, I love you, I appreciate you. And, uh, and then finally I'll say that I, when I think of you, I think, uh, how you balance everything. I just don't know how you do it, but you just seem to balance, balance it so well. Uh, I know that uh, when I read about uh, Mary and Martha, you know, and I just, I just think that if they could both could have met you, they probably could have balanced. <laughs> they probably could have figured out how to balance that Mary and Martha thing out. So I really appreciate you, mother. I love you. That's your and, heart. And just, I, I, it, I could go on and on and on. I, I have the sentiments of the others, my brother-in-laws that spoke. And uh, for over 40 something years, I've known you and I love you more and more and more every year. God bless, bless your heart. Amen. God bless you. We Amen. love you. We love you. Amen. Bless your heart. Bless my husband of 42 years this year. Yes, I, thank yes. God. <laughs> I thank God for his goodness. I thank God for each and every one of you. And I have to give honor to God who is the head of my life and the author and finisher of my faith. And I thank God for my dad, superintendent and first administrative assistant, James e. Edwards, and to the illustrious one and only yes, yes. Lady Marjorie, yes. my mom. God bless you, God bless you. Amen. How blessed I am, how Amen. honored I am, how privileged I am. I do not take my life uh, for granted. I don't take the opportunity that the blessing that God bestowed upon me when he called me to be your daughter. Thank it, you, Jesus. It's, it's a tremendous blessing and I thank God for it. I thank God for each of you that love on her and care for her and, and laugh with her and, 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 you know, help her do what she needs to do. I, I want you to know from me, how much I appreciate you and I love you all very much. And so I only have a few minutes. So I'm going to try to get into a little bit of what the Lord gave me to say. And um, 
we we know that the theme is strength and honor is her clothing and certainly mom mom marjorie lady marjorie is strong in the lord and in the power of his might and she is on uh, she is honorous god has yes. blessed her and crowned her yes, yes. with honor because yes. of the life that she had lived but i would like if i can if you would give me just a minute to say and to try to describe what she's not it's already been said what she is who she is how she is mm -hmm. but let me say what <laughs> she is not because when we really understand what she's not, then it helps us to really appreciate even more yes. what and who she really is. Oh, yes. So she's not weak. She's not weak in the things of God, in the things of man. She is not a weak <laughs> woman. Here are some examples of weakness. Unanswered prayers. Unanswered prayers. Now, I know that those of you that have been close to mom, at least the last 20 years or even 10, you have heard her say, God answers my prayers. This so a spiritually weak person, their prayers don't get answers. That's not her. Okay. Number two, no will to fast. Well, that's not her because we have all learned out of her and and the wisdom of my dad how important it is to fast Amen. fast in the brain we get our answers met we get our needs met god yes. answers us he hears us when we call she does not go to church strictly out of duty it's not a religious thing it's not something that she always just grew up doing so she keep doing it no, the church is in her. Ecclesia is who she is. Hallelujah. So it doesn't matter if she goes to the building or she's in her living room. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The church is in her. Mm -hmm. So it's not about a religious thing. No concern for lost souls. Well, that's not her. That is absolutely, positively not her. <laughs> We know that over the last 40 years, even before my dad started his ministry, my mom was concerned about lost souls. Concerned. My brother spoke of children at, um, at uh, the shelter. children's shelter. Well, I remember when she worked at the boys' ranch and the girls' ranch up on the hill, driving that dark hill up and down. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, in, it would be dark when she left from work. And a lot of those young people loved her. They clung to her just like those children did at the children's shelter because she was concerned about lost souls. I spoke, I spoke a couple of years back about a girl that reminded her of her sister, Jeanette. And she had this girl come and she was our sitter for one day. And she was a nice, sweet girl, had some problems because she was at the, at the girls ranch, but mom saw something in her. Yes. And she tried and did what she could to help her. So she stretched out her hand. Now she's not faint of heart and affliction. When she is not feeling well, when she's not doing well, when things around her seems to be uh, in turmoil, she doesn't faint. She's not faint of heart. She's strong in the Lord. She does not have the form of godliness, but deny its power. That's not her. Nope. Absolutely. <laughs> that's not her. Now, I know y'all know that's not her. She does not have the form of godliness. Amen. Deny the power. And I just like to say that the form of godliness may exist with both secret and open wickedness okay so you can have the form of godliness but denying the power but the power of godliness cannot be denied amen so having the power of godliness is not something that you can fake people say well we just fake it until we make it no you can't fake this thing this is true darling you can't fake it 
It's got to be real. You got to be real. You got to be who you know to be in God. Yes. Another another form of opposition that she is not, because the title is her clothing is strength and honor. To be opposite of honor is dishonor, disgrace, or shame. Dishonor, disgrace, or shame. Well, under those adjectives, we have slanderous. We know she's not a slanderer, a tail bearer. We know that she does not tell tales. She does not, you can, I can, I can not count one time in my life mm -hmm. that I know that someone shared something valuable, secret in their life with mom and it got back to them that mom told somebody else. I've never known that to happen. She is someone of integrity. Yes. And if she, if you, you know, and ladies, I know you can agree with me. You've shared a lot of things with her and you know in your heart that you don't have to worry about it because you'll never hear it from anywhere else. Praise Jesus. So she is, Lord, where am I? She is um, not a slanderer. She is not disgraced. She is not a tail bearer. As referenced in Proverbs 10 and 18, Matthew 12, 36, Psalms 101 and 5. Neither has she been slandered or injured in her good name by false and malicious report. Now I can tell you, and my husband can attest to this, that when the Lord sent my parents to Georgia, we were sitting outside the church I grew up in at Prayer Garden. And we heard a few people that have been friends with my parents for years, slandering them. And it hurt me so bad. It hurt me so bad. And my flesh wanted to say something. Yes. But I kept my mouth shut <laughs> and I just kept walking like I didn't hear it. Let me tell you how God covers his anointed people. Do you know that some of them folks are asleep today? See, the Bible says, touch not my anointing and do my prophet no harm. This is true, right. darling. So right. you it's have true. to watch. That's you have to watch, really, watch what you say about God's people. That's because true. She doesn't have the spirit of vengeance, but God, God vengeance spoke mine, up. See. And the Bible says, vengeance is mine. Yeah. Yeah, and on. he had the last say. And I just... You know, I, that, that really gives me peace because nobody knows how hurt That's I right. was That's that right. day, mm -hmm. but my husband. That's right. To hear someone that was supposed to be so close to them mm -hmm. and our family, to slander them like mm -hmm. they did. Mm -hmm. well, bless and you. I just kept my mouth shut and just kept walking. I Great. didn't say a thing. I just kept walking and I... I I thank God for allowing me to live through that because it helped me and helped mature me a bit in the Lord. So no weapon that is formed against her shall prosper. The weapon formed, but it didn't prosper. Yes, thank you, Jesus. Formed, but it didn't prosper. It went out, uh, slanderous words went out, lies went out, treacherous words went out but God did not let it. Pass. Hallelujah. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord and their righteousness is of me. Isaiah 54 and 17. She does not eat the bread of idleness, nor is she lazy. I'm referencing Proverbs 31 and 27. She is not wasteful or vengeful. She does not worry about evildoers, yes. nor, neither is she envious of those that yes. work unrighteousness. Mm -hmm. And that's um, referencing Proverbs uh, 31 and, I'm sorry, 31 and 29, I believe. Mm -hmm. She is not unmerciful or uncharitable. Referencing Matthew 5, verse 7. Blessed, is, blessed are the merciful, mm -hmm. for they shall yes. have mercy. That's right. She is not a merciful or uncharitable. First Corinthians 13, that whole chapter talks about the way of love. Mm -hmm. 
the way love is. And that's who Lady Marjorie is, the way of love is. So as her firstborn daughter, a uh, uh, firstborn child, sole daughter, I make this proclamation today. As a young working mother to four growing children and a husband called to preach to a pillar in the courts of our God, her four children, all in ministry, arise and call her blessed. And as it is in Proverbs 31 and 11, the heart of her husband doth safely trust in her. As it says in verse 23, and her husband, Superintendent Edwards, is known in the gates. Yes. He sits amongst the elders in the land. Yes. Lady Marjorie has been and remains a beacon of God's light to hundreds of women as an encourager, a prayer warrior, a helper, and a spiritual mother. She has remained steadfast in her faith towards God, having a multitude of testimonies of how God answered her prayer requests that manifest God's unceasing, unfailing covering protection, deliverance, healing, and sustained bowels of grace and mercy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Jesus. Hallelujah. She is known for her love of Psalms 113. Amen. Especially to the spiritual children in California, where God placed the burning desire to live, to learn, and to fully exemplify the importance of declaring God's excellence and our desperate need, our desperate need for help that can only come from him. That's one of the things as a prayer warrior, I have watched my mom share uh, with women how desperate yes. we really need oh, him. Yes, yes. yes. Frail, we really are, how fragile Amen. we really are. Yes, yes. How we're here, some of us are here one day and gone the next. Yes. So I'm just going to share with you Psalms 113. This is, I'm closing with this. And it reads, praise ye the Lord. Mm. Hallelujah. 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 Praise all Hallelujah. you servants Hallelujah. of the Lord. Mm. Praise the name, the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pray, blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. From this time forth and forevermore. Yes. yes. From the rising Hallelujah. of the sun. You, Hallelujah. Unto the going down of the same. That's it. That's the it. The Lord's name is to be praised. The Lord is high. He's high mm. above all nations mm. Mm. and his glory Hallelujah. above all heavens. Who is like unto the Lord, our God, who dwelleth on high, who humbleth himself to behold the things Hallelujah. that are in heaven and are in the earth. And that includes us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. He raiseth up the poor. Out of the dust. Mm. Yes, yes, that yes. lifted the needy out of the dunghill. That he may set him with princes, oh, yes. even with the princes. Hallelujah. People. He maketh the barren woman mm. to keep house mm. and to be a joyful mother of all children. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, thank you. Father, thank you. Hallelujah. Father, thank you. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord Jesus. We love you today. Hallelujah. Thank you. We worship you. Thank you, Jesus. Father, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. If I can just end with this. They shall be mine, saith the Lord. They shall be mine, saith the Lord. When he comes to take up his jewels, they shall be mine. Oh, they shall be mine, yes, saith the Lord. They shall be mine, saith the Lord. 
When he comes to take up his jewels, they shall be mine. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Praise Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Good word. Good word. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wonderful, wonderful. Oh, bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. God, thank, thank you, you. Evangelist you. Crystal. That was awesome. just awesome. It was an <laughs> awesome word. Amen, what amen. she's not. What she's not. And I thank God for that. Thank God. Now we would have a special presentation by Sister Melanie Richardson. Before we uh, do that, um, Mother mm -hmm. Maxine, yes. I think uh, Mother Perella Hines, are you on? Is she on now? Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm on. I'm going to okay. give her, uh, give her uh, two minutes to say hello. This she is our supervisor. And she I'll can bring do whatever her. she yeah, wants to do. She's our supervisor. Supervisor yes. Perella Hines. God bless you. 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 I'm, I'm on. I'm, I'm on the, the telephone, telephone with you all, and, and then I'm on my, I want to see you. <laughs> Let me see. So, so, God bless, Mother. I don't know how to work all this stuff, but I was. <laughs> <You're doing okay. laughs> bless your heart. I'm determined. That's too so precious. I'm on in Chicago on the phone, and then I got finally on with the, uh, what is this we on? Zoom. <laughs> The Lord bless you, Superintendent Edwards, Administrator bless you, Edwards. Bless, bless you, heart. beautiful mother Edwards. God bless you and her daughter, looking more like you every day. So God bless Amen. you and sounding like you. <laughs> I love you. I just wanted to just let you know how much I love you. And congratulations always on this beautiful day. I wish you stand up and let me kind of see you a little bit more, but. Oh. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Hey, all right. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Bob. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> How beautiful. Thank you. Always look beautiful and red. I thank God for the work that uh mother does with the women's department. And I told her, like I uh, tell my husband before he passed. I think you could just wake her up out of sleep and she could start singing. But I, if you ever asked her, could you sing a song? It would just automatically come That's out of her. She has worked so hard. I've seen her work hard since she's been here in Georgia. So I can't even imagine in California. But I pray that the Lord will bless you with health and strength and many more of these beautiful days that you Amen. deserve. And that your women's department and all of Living Waters want to give you the very best. And we love you. God bless you and keep you in, in his care is my prayer. Bless you. I, I'm bless throwing you a kiss, mother. God bless you. Bless you. Bless you. That is too precious. Thank you. Bless you. Oh, I've been trying to get on. I'm just slow. <laughs> Come on. That is too precious. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, now, uh, Mother, we're going to have it's good to hear from uh, Supervisor Hines. Amen. Uh, but what we, uh, we're we going to have special presentation from Melanie, of course. We always, uh, man, that we're going through, I'd be glad when we get in our building, but we'll be doing so much more. But we have to show our love to you. Amen. And when I say show, I know the words are more, you know, it's stronger. Than, than really showing it, but we have something for you as usual. And I'm gonna turn it over to Melanie at this point. And as usual, you and Pastor both will have to go to the door. <laughs> Pastor, I know it's love day. No, mother, I know it's love day. And this <laughs> we had to give Pastor a little something. So not yet, mom, not yet, not yet. Not Mel yet. Melanie says not yet. No, oh. I want to say my few little words before they come. Oh, to the well, excuse me. <laughs> well, you, have, you have two minutes. Two minutes. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> well, Mother, we all love you. And, um, and there's just words of love um, just on behalf of YWCC 
That's myself, Sister Danielle Emerson Smith, Sister Candace Cheese, yes, Sister yes. Sonia Sims, Sister Sophia Sims, Sister Janice, and Sister Jamila Martin, and the Vice President, um, Sister Dickie. We just all want to just thank you for all the love and support and everything you've done for Living Waters Church. And so most hard. important, the thing that just sticks out in my mind, as you know, I always doing something behind the scenes and I'm yes. a creative person. And um, my grandmother's like, what are you up to now? What are you I know, that's now? Right. <laughs> and I get it from her and I get it from my, uh, my aunt on my dad's side of the family. They all love working, doing service in the church and they do it unto God. And I see the same thing in you. And I just thank God that uh, just for putting you in my life. That's and so one of the things that I always will never forget, and that's, it's just what I do. So when you want to walk out to the door and you're like, oh, what are you up to now? Just know it's what I do. You're doing the do. <laughs> so you all are more than welcome to come and look at, take a peek and look at your surprise outside. And, and Me and everybody, Brandon are your um, love day minions. And I'm going to turn the camera over so everyone can see. All right, two minutes. <laughs> two minutes. <laughs> oh, what's she got? Oh, we're ready for you. Ready. <laughs> there it is. Me and Brandon, I love that bitch. <laughs> 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 All right. Oh, oh, man. Man. <laughs> oh, happy love day oh, yeah, Pastor, we know it's mother's special day but we didn't want to forget about you <laughs> from living waters <laughs> <laughs> yes ma'am show the sign melanie <laughs> you show the sign that is so precious. Yes, um, ma'am. Can you get a picture of that? Yes, ma'am. We have a picture of the sign. Thank you. Oh, how nice. <laughs> <laughs> and then you say, who is this? <laughs> That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Amen. Amen. That is beautiful. Wow. Beautiful. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Man. That is great. <laughs> <laughs> that is gorgeous. That He's is laughing at us because of our little ears. <laughs> All right. God bless you, baby. All right. God bless you. So, mother, oh, we that is you. so beautiful out there. <laughs> Thank you. We, we Ooh, hope those beautiful children, <laughs> they work so diligently making us happy. Bless their heart. Yeah. I know, but I didn't know nothing about the heart ears. <laughs> I can imagine what Brandon's going through. <laughs> but, um, so we, precious. Um, we're going to have the presentation of honoree of Lady Marjorie Edwards from Evangelist Jacqueline Hawthorne. Amen. Amen. God bless you, Mother Hawthorne. God bless you. God bless you, Mother. Um, thank you, uh, Mother um, Richardson. And I first give honor to God, the head of my life, and to our esteemed pastor on today, and to all of the saints of the Most High God that are under my voice at this time, and most especially to our beautiful, beautiful First Lady. And I can say ditto, 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 uh, uh, just behind us about everything that was said here on today. And I'm just going to do, before I do the presentation, just to give a little bit, because I guess I got two time, two minutes to, I guess, or do I get more? You get more. Oh, okay. You get more. <laughs> well, I you guess, get more. <laughs> you get a lot more, Mother Howard. Okay. God bless you and thank you. I can say the this, this second Sunday in June of this year, it would be seven years that I walked into Living Water Ministries. And those who were there, you know the story. I walked in there as a visitor just to visit. 
And I walked out that day as a member and that was incredible. I can tell those who wanna hear the story, I can tell you that later. But from that first day that I met our first lady um, there, I knew it was something special there about her. And I always say, when you go to a church and you wanna know how it is, you look beyond the pastor, but you look there, there's a first lady too. Because that first lady sets the tone in that church for the women there. And I could see that she was such a beautiful, beautiful person with such a beautiful spirit. And I remember when my, when my mom died and I had just been there then just for a year. And when I lost my mom, that was just a lot for me because I had a, a, a wonderful, wonderful, the best mom ever. But I'll never ever forget how Mother Edwards, she came to me and I don't want to get emotional and cry because I won't be able to do the other part. But she told me, she said, I am your mother now. Right. And she said, I know your mother would be pleased. And I, I know that she is pleased. And she let me know there that I was going to be a daughter to her, just like Crystal. I would be able, well, I'm, you know, I'm not going to tell all y'all everything because y'all may be jealous. <laughs> I just leave it at that. I just leave it at that for the other women. But let me tell you. She has truly been a mother to me. And I yes, remember, I like I said, when my mom died and that next morning, my, my, my mom died on Christmas Eve. And that morning, that next morning, pastor was there. And I know this isn't his day, but I have to say that's a part of it. He was there. Yes. Elder James, Evangelist Kim, they, they were there. And yes. I know mother was doing things at the home, but she allowed pastor to come. I will never forget how they have treated me over the years, how they still treat me how they love me, how mother loves me, how I can go to her, I can talk to her, yes. I can share my most inner thoughts, personal thoughts, and she will always guide me as a mother. Amen. She will guide her children. Not saying just what I want to hear, but what I need to hear and what I need to know and what I need to do. And, uh, and so I love her on today. I love her from the bottom of my, of, of my heart. I heart. love her as a daughter, Crystal. And I know that you are her birth daughter and I did not come through her loins, but I love her. And there's nothing that I would not do for I her got. on today. Bless I love Lord. you, mother. Now I'm not gonna take up too much time, but I'm gonna get into the presentation now. On December 19th, 1941, on a brisk afternoon in the small town of Blaine, Mississippi, Mary Ann and Jesse James Burton welcomed their third child. Little did they know at the time that this child was not going to grow up to be any ordinary person, but just the opposite. At the age of seven, she would have an encounter with the Lord and be saved. She would grow up to exemplify and personify the characteristics of the Proverbs 31 woman. Her price would be so far above rubies, diamonds, and pearls. She would be a woman of wisdom who would counsel women around the country and be the mother of not just hundreds, but probably thousands of women because her words have reached that far. Her schedule, her parents did not know, would be so busy that one of her mothers at Living Water Ministries would declare Monday as her day of rest and ask others to give her that day to rest from her daily labor of always extending a helping hand. But you know, most of the time, this person I'm talking about, she would not listen. <laughs> and will continue to do what she does best to take care of others. She is compassionate and a prayer warrior. And for over 30 years, she has been calling together the morning women for prayer. She knows the word of God and correctly divides it. Her parents did not know when she was born that she would become the loving wife of a pastor. Just any woman would not do for that special young man that she was to marry. She is a giver and will give her last, even her grocery money, 
if someone is in need. She visited the sick regularly before this pandemic, but even now she is still ministering to those who are in need. She has a service heart and a heart for ministry. Her legacy, and she does not know this, but her legacy, her parents did not know this would be, but her legacy is already set. And little does she know that she is leaving footprints for all of the women to follow. And women of all ages, they are to follow because why? She leads by example. And if you follow her footprints, women, you will be caring. You will use wisdom. You will be obedient to leadership and you will be loving to your husband and children. And she has been married to one man for over 60 years. So if you follow in her footsteps and you want to have a long lasting marriage, you can by following her lead. You will also, if you follow in her footprints, will be a prayer warrior because she loves prayer and she prays daily for everyone, those she knows and those she do not know. And she is a generous giver and her footprints go on and on. I cannot even hold up a shoe for everyone. But if you follow in her footprints, you will be chased. You will be a keeper of your home, women. You will be trustworthy. You will dress in modest, moder modest uh, apparel and look like holy women of God. She is so special that she has a star named after her. And this star in the universe, I can tell you, if you go out on a clear night and you look up into the sky, you will see that star that has been named Lady Marjorie V. Edwards. And I say to you, if we could give her a piece of the moon, we would do that in all. The only reason we don't have a piece of the moon for her is because I don't know where to go and buy it. But today I declare and decree unto you that there is none like her. You can search in the city, but there is none. You can search in the country, but there is none. You can go across the seven continents, but there is none. You can go from sea to shining sea, but there is none. You can venture to the nine planets, but there is none. You can go to the moon, but there is none. You can go across the African coast, but there is none. You can go to the Caribbean or to the utmost places on this earth, but you will find none like this beautiful Holy Ghost filled prayer for woman. Somebody might be thinking, well, how can you say that today, Evangelist Hawthorne? Because there are great, there are many great women. But I can say it because as I always say, it's a poor frog that don't praise his own pond. You do what you want over in your pond, but in our pond, we are praising this great woman on today because she is ours. And as you may have noticed, I have not called her name throughout this presentation because I want you to help me with this part. Each, and I want everyone to unmute now. I want everyone to unmute, unmute your devices at this time. All right. Everyone, please unmute. <laughs> and each time I ring this bell, and say, what's her name? I want you to reply as loud as you can. Don't worry about your neighbors. 
because we're going to ring her name today from the mountaintop. We're going to ring it to the valley low today as we proclaim our first lady, our queen, our shining star, and most of all, our precious woman of God. So each time I ring this bell and say, what's her name? I want you to say, Lady Marjorie B. Edwards. If you are ready, what's her name? Lady Marjorie Edwards. What's her name? Lady Marjorie B. Edwards. One more time. And I present to you on this afternoon, the elect lady, the first lady, as I always say, the one and only lady of Living Water Ministries Church of God in Christ, the lady Marjorie B. Edwards. On today, we say, God bless you. We love you, mother. You mean so much to us. Everybody, put your hands together as we ring in. Right. Bless you. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Our bishop is on. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. I don't know about tomorrow. I just live from day today yes. i don't borrow from its sunshine yes. or its clouds may turn to gray yeah. i don't worry forgot some of my words y'all right. about the future right. for i know what Jesus said, and today I walk beside him, for he knows what lies ahead. So many things about tomorrow, I just may not understand. I need my sopranos to come and help me out right here. Right. But I know who holds tomorrow. And I know who holds all of our hands. Hallelujah. Glory. I know who holds tomorrow. Yes. I don't know, hallelujah, about the future. But I know who holds the future. Yes. Hallelujah. Who holds Hallelujah. Our hands. Yes. I am just so grateful to God. Yes. God bless each of you. God bless each of you. I will be thanking God and praising God and thanking you for all of the year to come. This has been an another over the top service. All right. It is just unmatched, unmatched. And I'm so grateful to God. So thankful for Superintendent Edwards, who has been my childhood sweetheart. And mm -hmm. it's good, ladies, to trust God and believe your prayers and ask him for anything. He said to ask what you will. Ella Edwards was one of them cool guys as a teenager that the girls all went after and <laughs> paid me no attention because I wasn't one of them kind of girls. And, but I had my sights on him. and. The, the Lord will give you the desires of your heart. The Lord knows how to calm down them cool Amen, dads, <laughs> dads and, 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 and make them level out so that they'll fit one of them nice girls that he done prepared for them. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, Jesus. Do it. Thank God for my children. Yes. Thank God for my children. Somebody prophesied when Pastor first started that I'd be the mother of thousands of children. And I, I couldn't, I just couldn't understand what kind of, what kind of prophecy is that? I'm 38 and I, I had four children and I was struggling trying to be a good mother to them for, and how, what, what can I do with thousands of children? But I see the prophecy has come to pass Crazy. over the years across this country. I, I hear, I get reports from different women, how the Lord is blessing them and how, how they somehow received help and strength and encouragement and 
instructions on on uh, budget budgeting and cooking and sewing and cleaning and counseling and different things mm -hmm. and i just thank god for his goodness i i just honor god to have a bishop that loves us so much that he would come to a little bitty folks like me you know mm -hmm. and and mother thomas we love her so much and dr primus mm -hmm. and superintendent primus and you know what I, we purposely didn't invite anybody else mm -hmm. just mother bishop and she's been trying to get me on the phone for the last half an hour that she couldn't get on the line. She said, I sent the money. I, I, Mother Bishop, I ain't worried about you. Everybody know that you are right on target with us all the time. But there would have been a lot more on, but the program was long and lengthy. But we love people. We love God's people. And I was telling Pastor today, you know, in between our services, the TV was on for a minute and it was children that were hungry. And I was trying to eat some of that wonderful food that Mother Max and Mother Hester had prepared yesterday. And I couldn't hardly eat it watching those children that were hungry. Mm -hmm. uh, the Lord has put a do down in all of us. Amen. And that is to do justly, Amen. love Amen. mercy, and walk humbly with thy God. Mm -hmm. And that is, that's, that's my desire. And if I can walk in, in those shoes that Mother Hawthorne was just showing and set a footprint for, for, for the portals of time for you, women to follow, so to be blessed of the Lord, then I'll feel that my living was not in vain. That's, that's what I want to do. Enjoyed all of you, enjoy all the comments. And I've cried so much that my eyes is all messed up and my looking funny, but I feel blessed down in my heart. You all did it again, and I thank you so much. And I'm going to turn this back over to Sister Richardson. God bless your heart. Enjoy, Crystal. I won't even go into the names. Everything was over the top. <laughs> Enjoy my sons my, uh, from Pastor Robert's own across the board, all of them. And, and, and uh, I'm going to have Pastor let Bishop come and say hello to us. Bishop, I, I got your crackers. Uh, they're going to be called my chocolate chip cookies crackers. <laughs> But uh, uh, Bishop, if you still on, bless your heart, bless your heart. I'm gonna have your chocolate chip cookies. I put them in the mail. They say, I went to the post office and paid $33 to have this box of two, two dozen cookies mailed. And the, the post lady said, uh, what is in this box? I said, chocolate chip cookies. She said, you gonna pay $33 to sh ship them to Albany, which is like a four hour drive. I said, yeah, it's for my bishop. That's for my bishop. So I want him to get them early the next morning. So she said, you got to be Church of God in Christ. <laughs> she said, ain't nobody else going to do that. <laughs> and ain't nobody else got bishops like right. me. <laughs> God bless you. I don't know if Bishop is still on or not. He's on, Mother. I see him. Are they still on? Yes, yes. I can see Let's them. see. Amen. Put my glasses on. Let's see, can I find you? Yeah, maybe Bishop Thomas, where are you? I'm gonna I'm be making your crackers this week, Lord's will. He's waving, Mother. He's on mute. He needs some mute. Is he? Is he on mute? Well, they just got out of service, and I know they had a long day. But I just thank God for each of you. If I can put my arms around you, every one of you, it, it's my desire to do. And our supervisor, who loves all of us, and Dr. Primus, who is my sister. And I had three sisters, all of them were suffering and going through today, but they wanted to be on. Got the most wonderful granddaughters and as Soupy Sales used to say in all of Detroit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got the one most wonderful family and I just thank God for each of you. The service has been over the top. Thank God for Marjorie's pros and I'm gonna be wondering all the time, who is she? <laughs> got all them wonderful pros. <laughs> Thank God for Elder Tim and each of you. So I guess Bishop is is off. He's unmuted now, Mother. He's unmuted. Is he unmuted? Bishop, where yes. are you? Right here looking at you. Well, bless your heart. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you some of them crackers pretty quick. <laughs> bless you. Bishop, say hello to us. Bless you. Say amen to our great Bishop. Amen. Uh -huh. Franklin Thomas. And Mother, Mother, Mother Hines is still on Amen. too. Amen. Amen. God bless you. We got Amen. the best leaders, I tell you. Uh, there you are, Bishop. God bless you. We see you.
You should be thanking God. Yes, sir. It's a love day. Thank you. Every day ought to be a love day. Amen. I, I'm a superintendent of and Bless you, Bishop. I don't have to say this one thing. In the name of one Mother Edwards. <laughs> we all know that. Amen. Thank God, Father. And to be honest, we don't need another one. Amen. <laughs> it's so sweet. And, and when I get my cookies, I'm going to think about all them children that go that if I'm around, they would have been eating them too. But since I have them all by myself. <laughs> Bless you, we done lost him again. Well, thank God for the technology. Now you all see now you all see why I pay that money to have them cookies overnighted to my bishop. Because we nobody have great bishops like Kojic folks. Thank God for them. Thank God for them. Is he still there? Bishop, we 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 hear you. Yes, sir. Well, where's my technical director? Because I'm no good at this, but thank God for each of you that are on. We're going to let you all go. It's been a long day. You all have been so faithful. Let me, uh, we enjoyed. We thank God again for our great bishop, Bishop John Franklin Thomas, being on Zoom uh, and for our elect ladies' love day and for Mother Thomas. Yes. The Dean of Western Georgia. Wonderful. Ecclesiastical jurisdiction. Wonderful woman. And we also thank God for our first lady. She's the assistant dean of Amen. Western Georgia, Ecclesiastical Amen. jurisdiction. And we thank God for our supervisor, Mother Perella Hines. Yes, yes. Thank God. God bless. God bless you. Amen. And thank God for her assistant. Dr. Catherine uh, Primus. Primus. Yes. And we just thank God for uh, Pastor Rodney Hall also, who sent $400 for our first lady's, first lady's love day. Thank God for each and every one of your comments. Thank God for my sons and my daughter and my son in law, Ella Roberts being on Zoom today and my grandchildren being on Zoom. We enjoyed uh, this program today and we thank God for your love yeah. that was shown, amen. And I pray God blesses be upon you as you go out and come in and God protective hand be upon you. Yes. And he bless you and may God give you a hundredfold blessing for what you have done for our first lady. We thank God again for her and for her endurance. And uh, thank God for her, her labor of love in the ministry and for her labor and love in the marriage. We thank God for her. I tell you, it's a blessing uh, how God has been with us. Thank God for my oldest son, James Edwards. Yes. Timotheus Edwards and Ella Charles Edwards and all of the saints. God bless the elders in Living and Water Ministry, Ella Amen. Luther Edwards, Ella Cheese, and Elder Johnson, Ella James Edwards. And God bless Minister Mays and Minister Garvin. Yes, Ella Fitz. And God bless Ella Fitz. Yes. Amen. We're praying that God gave him a safe arrival back home. God bless all the mothers. We enjoyed you today. It was beautiful. Mm -hmm. Amen. Just beautiful. Uh, I don't think the program could have been any better. And then that beautiful array. Amen, array that they had outside. I tell you, it was certainly a great array. And we thank God for, uh, for Melanie and her brother, Brandon, 
and God from Mother Richardson. Yes. And uh, Deacon Richardson. Yes, bless her. And Mother Richardson, of course, she she's the, the junior church mother. Amen. And we thank God for her and thank God for all these mothers. Living water. Amen. You're the greatest. Yes. May God bless and be upon you. And may God bless and be upon all of our guests that was on Zoom today. We pray the blessings of God to be upon you. As you go out this week and as you come in, may the blessing of God overtake you and overshadow you and make the arms of the Almighty God be around you and the angel of the Lord shield you and protect you as you go out and come in. And the blood of Jesus Christ be upon you. Yes. This is my prayer, and I pray it in the name, in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Bless you. Amen. God bless you. Grateful. Bless you. May you go further. May you go further and do greater. Yes. Go further and do greater. Yes. God bless you. Great. We love Good you, job, Brother Tim. Love you. Love you too. Great job, Sister Crystal. Love you all. Love you. Love, love you. you all. Hey, Chris. Everybody. God bless you. God bless you all. Days and grit and God.